what I'd like to show you is um, ways to use a brush um, for modifying or retouching or editing a photograph. So the typical brushes that you could use for, um, for a photograph would be um, dodging and burning. And um, the textbook doesn't really go over these in depth, so I thought it'd be a nice thing to show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change from the painting workspace to photography. And in the photography workspace, the dodge and burn tools are located in the toolbar about three quarters of the way down. So here, if I click here, it's the, the tool that's up here is the sponge tool. Um, and where the sponge tool is located, you'll also find the burn and dodge tool. So um, I'll start here with the burn tool and burning is making pixels darker. If you were in the dark room, you would be adding exposure um, to an area to make it look darker. And that's what this will, will do. And you'll notice here that I have my brush um, showing up at a specific size. So for non-destructive editing, I'm actually going to duplicate the background. And I'm going to duplicate it twice here. And um, just to show you uh, the differences. So this one here, I'm going to label burn. And with the burn, I'm going to use this brush. And here at my settings, I've got access to my brush. I have the access to the size and the hardness. You notice here that the hardness is at zero, which means it's a totally soft brush which means it will blend better. Um, here, my exposure, I can adjust that as a default. It comes up at 50%, uh, but you can either make that less to add a more subtle change um, or more if you want to add more of a change. I'm going to um, leave the exposure to 25%, and then I'm just going to actually paint in over these areas. And you notice that just real subtly, it's getting darker. And I can go through with this brush, very soft brush, and just um, kind of tone down some of these highlights that are really bright. Um, so here in this photograph, I'm adding more attention to the center by darkening these outer areas, especially this reflection on the water here. And if I turn that on and off, you can see um, that change. So maybe that's too much, maybe that's too little. Um, I don't know. Um, so here, uh, I can also, let me turn that off, if I want to uh, maybe use a burn tool or, or the dodge tool here to make this lighter, we can actually see that happen. Um, so here on this layer, let me label that dodge just to show you the difference here. I'll choose the dodge tool. And here I've got uh, my very soft brush and I've got my exposure adjustment at 25%. And let's see, I'll make this a pretty big soft brush. And I'll just click and paint to make that adjustment a couple of times. And then you can see just a real subtle change to that area. And that would be um, dodging and burning and using a brush, the brush settings in order to achieve that.